Amphibious landing operations are highly demanding military actions, requiring suitable landing sites that are convenient for one's own forces while allowing for a deep penetration of the enemy's front line. However, these landing sites are also the focus of enemy defense and are usually heavily mined, requiring the attacking forces to find a way to clear mines and open up a passage. In the mid-late 1970s, the United States planned to develop a mobile mine-clearing vehicle for amphibious landings, and ultimately decided to carry out the development based on the AAV, also known as the AAVP-7A1, Amphibious Assault Vehicle. This became the AAVP-7A1 CATFI, Catapult Air Launched Fuel Air Explosive. The AAV was a new type of amphibious assault vehicle in the hands of the U.S. military at the time, entering service in 1972. It was faster and had a longer range than the older LVTP-5, with better armor protection and maintainability. It featured a rear-opening troop compartment that could transport 21 fully armed soldiers at once. The AAVP-7A1 CATFI removed the troop-carrying equipment inside the compartment and installed 21 forward-tilted blue 73 FAE mine-clearing rockets, divided into six rows. Each rocket, along with its launcher, weighed 63 kilograms and was over 1.5 meters long. The blue 73 FAE munition had folding tail fins at the rear, which opened after launch. It used a solid fuel rocket engine for propulsion, and when the munition reached its designated flight path, a small parachute at the rear would open, slowing down the rocket's flight speed. The warhead would explode twice, first detonating at the appropriate height to ignite the flammable liquid container, spraying the liquid over a wider area, and then exploding a second time to ignite the fuel, creating a larger explosion. The explosion's pressure would also detonate landmines on the ground. According to calculations, these 21 mine-clearing rockets could be launched in about 90 seconds, clearing a safe zone approximately 18 meters wide and nearly 300 meters long. Considering the explosive power and range of the rockets, they would also be effective against personnel and equipment. Although the AAVP-7A1 CATFI lacked troop-carrying capability, it provided basic armor protection and self-defense capability. It had 40 to 45 mm of aluminum armor plating for protection, and a heavy machine gun or 40 mm automatic grenade launcher could be mounted on the weapon seat. The vehicle also had smoke launchers. However, the AAVP-7A1 CATFI remained in the experimental stage and only a few prototype vehicles were manufactured. Although the Marine Corps had originally planned to purchase them, they ultimately abandoned the idea due to financial and other issues. From a tactical perspective, the U.S. military's involvement in subsequent wars no longer involved the direct frontal assaults seen in World War II, signifying a significant change in operational tactics. Perhaps the lack of demand was the biggest reason why the AAVP-7A1 CATFI was not accepted.